Sharks are sensitive to low frequency sounds, which travel great distances in the water. In some tests, sharks have been attracted to sounds over a mile away. A paddle boarder is going to make very different sounds from something that a shark is used to encountering in their environment. If you think about that paddle noise, that doesn't really sound like a fish. It doesn't really sound like anything that a shark can relate to. But sharks are attracted to things splashing at the surface because oftentimes that could be wounded prey or a wounded fish. So even though it might not have entirely matched a normal auditory cue for a shark, it could have made it curious enough to wonder, could this be a wounded prey item? Could this be a fish at the surface? So it could certainly attract the attention of a shark that was in the area. But perhaps the shark wasn't excited by one thing alone. Maybe something much larger is at play. And the other thing that uh, has been thrown out is, did temperature play a role? You mean, you hear about climate change and everything, and there are a couple ways temperature could actually factor in. One is that the warmer it is, it's in December, still warm, you're gonna have more people in the water, and you know that's really the biggest driver of shark incidents, is more people in the water, there's more chance of just having that bad luck. In 2023, when this attack happened, the Bahamas had one of its hottest summers ever. As sea temperatures rise, coral reefs can bleach and die off, disrupting what sharks feed on. 